And speaking of VMV, why don't we get started and see what you have sure. prepared for us? Okay, I'm going to be making my uh, Mexican Brussels sprout slaw. So okay. it's got the spiciness and it's got the, you know, the earthiness from the cumin and the chili okay. powder and everything. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go on and start over here with these ingredients okay. here. The main ingredients, of course, is Brussels sprouts. Okay. And this recipe is actually really good for someone who doesn't like Brussels sprouts. Okay. And um, when we were growing up, we really didn't like it because my mom, she used to just boil them. Okay. And then it takes away all the flavor. Okay. So you don't have to cook this. This is a regular slaw. If you like cabbage coleslaw, that's what it looks like. Then you're like, gonna yeah. love this okay. too. Okay. Okay. So we first start off with some um, sliced up thin. Um, you can use food processor, but I just do it by hand. By hand. Okay. So if you only got knives at home, right. Slice them in half. Right. Slice them real thin. Okay. And then we're gonna add some um, chopped up red onion. Okay. And I'll add a little bit more of that. <laughs> and these are the. Um, the baby, um, the baby bell peppers that are sweet, okay. Okay. and just slice those up thin. But if you can't find the baby um, bell peppers, just use regular oh. bell peppers and just slice it up real okay. thin. I'm going to use all those in there. And this is going to be a very beautiful, colorful salad. It's starting. So to even um, kids, you know, because kids love color, right. and so this would be something. So the only thing is, you may want to kind of the chipotle and everything, right. you know, the spices. You may, you know, if you're Child, but a lot of kids love spicy stuff. So. Yes, especially um, my kid, Mexican, loves the spicy stuff, so I'm sure he. And would then love here this. we got some um, um, sweet peppers. Okay. Um, any kind of peppers you can use. You, you can use jalapeno pepper. Okay. This is going to give it just, these are the banana peppers actually I love here. Those so you got that vinegar, so you're mm -hmm. getting a whole lot of different flavors here. You got your umami going on. You got salt, <laughs> you got sweet. And. Of course, cilantro. cilantro. <laughs> but if you happen not to like cilantro, just use some um, flat leaf parsley. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add the cheese last, though. Okay, so we just kind of mix it. Look, mm -hmm. Can you smell that? I it can. smells good, doesn't it? Smells it smells delicious. Okay. How did you come up with this recipe? <laughs> just <laughs> I'll tell you the truth of the matter. I was making some smoked ribs at home, and I needed, I wanted some slaw. Right. And I had Brussels sprouts, and I always have the queso fresco right. cheese in the fridge. And I always have onion, certain things you just right. always have on hand. And that's how the recipe just came up. Whipped with. up with it. And yeah. I always have um, Mexican herbs and spices right. in the house. So just came up with it like that. Okay. And y'all see this? Yes, we Ooh. do. Okay. <laughs> now for the um, sauce, the dressing, we've got um, mayo. You can use, if you want to make it light, you can use the reduced oh, okay. fat or the okay. light mayo. Okay. But I prefer the you know no, regular mayo. If you're gonna do it, <laughs> do it right. We got some fresh lime juice, mm -hmm. and if you don't happen to have fresh lime juice, just use what you have on hand. If you okay. don't have lime juice, use lemon juice. Lemon juice. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is um, smoked sea salt. Okay. But you can use regular salt if you don't have right. it because you're gonna have that smokiness from the chipotle. Okay. Anyway, so but I just love that extra smoky flavor. And um, we've got some lime zest also. Okay. okay. And of course we've got cumin. Of course. I like to um, get the um, whole cumin seeds a lot and just roast them up in the pan. Okay. So you get that oils and it's really potent and okay. then um, put it in a grinder or just use a metal pestle um, and, then, okay. and just grind it up. And we've got some chipotle. chipotle. As much as you want. I like spice, so I'm going <laughs> to add the, the whole thing. thing. In there. <laughs> and then we add a little brown sugar just for sweetness. Okay. 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 Let me put this here. Then we're just going to mix this up really whiskey. good. And what you do is, um, if you go by the recipe, um, if you need to add a little more season or whatever to taste. So right. I always taste with my tasting spoons or whatever. <laughs> you taste to make sure you can always add to it, but right. you can't take away. Exactly. So that's always good. 